So this is the grave of the Prophet We just uh, prayed Salat al-Asr and of course uh, Janazah usually takes place. And after the Salat al-Janazah takes place, uh, the people take the body uh, of the deceased and they rush to Baqir, which is of course Sunnah to uh, rush with the deceased to Baqir al-Gharqad. And the Baqir al-Gharqad is uh, very close as you can see. This is the Baqir, the wall of Baqir is over there. So the deceased goes, may Allah Azza wa have mercy on him and increase his grave and give light inside of his grave. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allow us as well to have a beautiful death in the city of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and to be buried in Baqir al-Gharqad. What a beautiful graveyard that this person is getting. The holiest graveyard is the graveyard of Baqir. Our Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that whoever uh, is buried in Baqir, I shall be his intercessor, his shafi'ah on judgment day. So we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to cause us to die in this beautiful city of Medina and to be buried in Baqir al-Gharqad. There is the family of the Prophet ﷺ in that corner. That is the family, the Adil Bayt in the corner. These are the daughters of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. As-salamu alaykum wa alaykum wa sallam wa alaykum wa alaykum wa sallam wa alaykum wa alaykum wa alaykum These are our mothers, the mothers of the believers in Allah Azza wa Jal. Have mercy on them. This is the grave of Ibn Umar and Imam Malik and Nafi'ah. They are buried over here. السلام عليكم وعلى كل سنة إن شاء الله نلاحقون نسأل الله لنا ولكم العافية نسأل الله لنا ولكم العافية لا إله إلا أنت سبحانك إني كنت من الظالمين لا إله إلا أنت سبحانك كنت من الظالمين The graves of Baqir are recycled except for the old portion the old portion they do not recycle the graves they keep them but the newer portion there is no other option because the grave is limited as you can see it's a very large grave but still you have to recycle in order to fit any new body in The caretaker of the grave will be telling the, uh, the the crowd of the deceased where to take the grave. They have dug a fresh grave 
But of course, that fresh grave, obviously, there is a special way that they uh, take the body out and then the bones will be buried somewhere else. And then another body is placed over there. It is not recommended to walk in between the graves with your shoes. Our Prophet ﷺ discouraged doing that. So this is not something that should be done. If you must walk, then you take your shoes off. Right now we are on the path. But to go in between the graves, there should be some respect shown. And it is better etiquette to take one's shoes off. So this is the end of the Baqiya wall. You can see we've barely done 60%. Just to give you an idea of where the Prophet Sassam's masjid is, it's on that side over there. And you can see the, the dome of the Prophet Sassam's masjid. May Allah Azza wa make us amongst those who have the fortune to be buried in this blessed graveyard. Our Prophet Sallallahu said frequently think of that which destroys our all pleasures, meaning death. So we should be thinking of death because it is going to make us more productive. And our Prophet Sallallahu encouraged us to visit the graveyards because it reminds us of death. So the purpose of this video is really just to remind ourselves that this journey that these people are doing right now, we will be doing it as well one day. One day our bodies will be carried into the grave. So we had better be prepared for that day to meet our Lord. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.